my beautiful gem twins is Tasha, aka Mama Gem, aka Gem the Butterfly. And this is your December 13th through the 31st bi weekly tarot scope. Uh, first things first, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been liking, sharing, and commenting um, to my videos. Thank you for everyone who has purchased a personal reading from me. I truly appreciate you guys. Um, this reading is a general reading. It may resonate with some and may not resonate with all. If it doesn't re resonate with you, check out your moon sign. Check out your ri rising sign. These videos are for your sun, moon, and rising sign. So, you know, I believe that for some people it, re it resonates all the way through. I've gotten comments about that. And, you know, um, if it doesn't resonate for, with your sun, definitely, like I said, check out your rising and your moon sign. You may find better um, clarification and guidance there. Um, 2016 yearlies are coming up soon within the next week or two. Those take a little while longer so I have to set aside some more time. If you want a personal reading like I said hit me up. The link is in the description box. And let's just see what we're doing. We're trying something a little different y'all. I'm going to shuffle on camera and show y'all how we do our, how I do my thing. All right, December 13th to the 31st. Still, what do you have to jump on? Drawing eight cards, y'all. I do draw cards a little differently. I'm an unorthodox person. I do how I want to do. All right, Gemini. Let's see what we have here. I don't read in reversals, okay? All right, starting off the first week here, you have the Ace of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the King of Swords. And what I feel with the, with these three cards in combination is that um, you're going to be having a new beginning afforded to you. Um, this is going to be a new start. And... I feel like it's in regards to a a love situation. Um, we're talking about the Three of Swords here. A new start. Um, and it possibly may be regarding a person who is a sword sign. Um, a, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Male or female here. Um, I, I, I kind of feel like you're going to be, even though wands talk about energy and passion and um, it can talk about determination and it can also talk about a lot of times for me, um, creativity. I feel like 
this is going to be you looking at a heartbreak in a different situation in a different light um bear with me guys i'm trying to make some sense of this because it would seem like to me it's like the beginning is a new beginning is coming in but then you have this heartbreak I, i'm seeing it as if you know, with this new beginning, it's going to cause you to go back and and, re, and look at this heartbreak. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need to draw some cards with that. But we're going to keep moving for right now, okay? But whatever this situation is, and I do feel like it's a relationship situation, it is involving another air sign such as yourself. Now, this could be possibly you as well, looking back at this heartache and this betrayal and this di disappointment and you know you may even be trying to give it another go which is really really um, weird how I'm looking at this card but going into the week after December uh, 13 you have the Wheel of Fortune card and I feel like the one of the reasons yeah okay so yeah the, I feel like one of the reasons why you're willing to give this thing a go again um, it could, like I said, it could be involving another air sign or this just could be you showing up in the reading. You're just looking back at how far you've come because you started off as an ace and you went to a three and now you're a king. Um, you're realizing the lessons that had to be learned here with the Wheel of Fortune card. Okay, and I feel like karma and destiny and luck is on your side with this Wheel of Fortune card. You're going to be moving into this thing very passionately and very driven, um, very forcefully too. Um, but at the same time, this is, it's like you have the Knight of Wands here and you have the Knight of Pentacles. So you're feeling very passionate about it, but at the same time, you have the Knight of Pentacles coming in, um, grounding this energy. Now, with that being said, I see a lot of people in this reading, okay? I see the King of Swords. I feel like the Knight of Wands could be coming in. This could be a male or female fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but then I also see a Knight of Pentacles coming in too, um, which is a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They're all coming in, and I feel like this is this is the wheel turning more so in your favor. I feel like these are options for you, okay? Coming in, these people may be even slightly younger than you, um, Gemini. Um, and if these are not people, I feel like that's just more, this is just a, a more, um, there's a stabilizing energy coming in. And this is also a more um, driven, dri a driven energy, driving force, you know, pushing you away from this, this, this hurt and this loss and this grief that you have experienced. You know, it's like, if you with the wheel of fortune to me it's always talking about if you put in good you're going to get good back and i feel like you know having the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles coming in behind the wheel of fortune it is talking about you're going to be getting some good stuff back here because you're getting a new beginning like i said in the in the very beginning you're getting a new beginning here but this heartbreak still is on your mind it may have involved three people because this is the three of swords but um, nonetheless, I feel like you're taking it all in stride and you're continuing to move forward. You realize that, you know what, the best is yet to come here with this Wheel of Fortune card. And you do have some suitors coming in. Like I said, these could be suitors or it just could be some energy to help keep you, um, keep you motivated and help keep you grounded. Now, or these could be people. This could be an air sign, to, uh, not an air sign, I'm sorry, a fire sign coming in. To help you keep to keep you motivated, this could be and and um, I feel like these could be friends too, just not necessarily love interests, but um, it could also be friends keeping you motivated behind this sword, this this um, this breakup or whatever this is. There's a parting of ways here, a hurt, a betrayal, whatever this thing is. But you have somebody coming in like you know, don't don't get off track. You need to stay on track, you know. Um, well, look at it this way. I wear, the, you know, this is what the, the Knight of Pentacles will say. Well, look at it this way. Would you have rather, 
it go on and then you found out later. You know, it, it could be that type of rationalizing, very practical type of advice. But either way, they're going to balance, help to balance you out here. Because, you know, I feel like by the end of the month, you're going to be really thinking about it because the Three of Swords really talks about, you know, your feelings and your thoughts and being down. Um, but I feel like it's just going to weigh too much on you. You're going to be giving it up. You're going to be letting it go. I feel like this is this is going to be you. There's a one of my reason, readings before I talked about packing some shit up and taking it to the dumpster. I feel, I feel like you're just completely over it right now. And you're going to pack all this stuff up. And, you know, you're just going to move forward in your life. Because um, I feel like what your main concern is right now, if I could pick up the card is learning, growth, acquiring or, or accruing wealth, focusing on other aspects. Love may not be, excuse me guys, I really don't see love as your main focus um, ending out this month. I feel like you're just trying to, this card to me is just talking about um, Looking at, at, I feel like it's, it's you looking at how much you've grown over this year. You know, you decided to put away all the things that caused you burdens. You're throwing it all away. And I feel like this is also you just kind of looking back over 2015, really ready to head into 2016. If you guys are like me, my mind, I'm already in 2016. I've been in 2016 since about November, October. You know, and so this is just you just making sure that you, you got everything in order to move into the new year. I feel like you're just thinking futuristically right now. And you're, even though you've had this hurt, I, I don't feel like you're going to be thinking about it too much. You're going to, you know, with the King of Swords here, you're going to be looking at it. You'll deal with it. And, but you also see that, you know what, brighter days are coming with this uh, Wheel of Fortune card. You see that. You know that you have done right. Um, you have put out good karma and good energy. And you know it's coming back to you. So why fret over this? This is just a three. You know, this is not a ten. You know, it, it, this is not utter loss and despair. This is, this is, this is, it hurt now. It hurts nonetheless. It stabbed you right into your heart. It may be, it may have been a third energy coming along. Whatever this is, it did hurt. But I feel like you're going to be making sense of it with the King of Swords and you're going to be moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune. And you're going to have some help along the way. People people keeping you encouraged. This air, this fire sign keeping you encouraged. If it's not a person, it's the energy. And you have someone keeping you grounded. Okay? Because like I said, you have a new beginning. And this is a very passionate new beginning too coming in. Um, and it's all because you're over it. You're packing up your shit and you're leaving. And you're just looking ahead. She's looking forward. She's looking to the future. She's she's trying to make sure that she has everything right before she moves into uh, 2016. So, you know, this is an excellent reading, you know. we Sometimes you got to take a loss, man. We, 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 we don't like to take losses. Excuse me. We don't like to take losses all the time. But it's through those losses that we learn who we are and learn how to be a better person. And, and we will, you know, we take it. And we look at ourselves objectively, objective, objectively, like the King of Swords does. Sword, sword, sword signs have they can they will they are very self aware. You keep that self awareness about yourself. You're gonna learn some things about yourself. You're gonna learn things about life. You're gonna learn things about people, and you're gonna gather it. You've you've attained some more wisdom, and you're gonna be a, be able to apply that to your. Um, your future endeavors in 2016 so thank you for taking the time to listen if like I said if anything in this reading feels like feels like it applies to you and you want to delve deeper hit me up in my description box for a personal reading I would love to explore this reading further with you thank you so much